Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined with Rachel and we are going to be filming the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. So for this collab we wanted to do something really kind of chilled, laid back and quite relaxed and a little bit more fun to watch. I saw Nikki Tutorials and Jacqueline Hill do the No Mirror Makeup Challenge so we thought we'd give it a go as well. Yep. We don't really know what makeup looks we're going to be filming today so we're just going to kind of wing it and see what happens. But we're chosen to do something a little bit more daring rather than natural just so it makes it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> So, and also, if you can hear any noise or anything, that is the door open. It is hot in here, so please excuse me. It gets very hot in here. Yeah, it just gets hot here. Um, so we've got the window open, so if you hear any wind or any noises or any birds or anything, then just, just, just ignore that, okay? Primer. Prime. What are you going for today, Abigail? I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil, which is a new one for me. What are you using, Rachel? I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Mattifying Base. Hmm. Um, I've used this quite a few times, but I don't reach for it as much as I probably should, so hmm. I thought, why not today? Oh my god, I'm dripping this over. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just going to do a few drops of this. Um, my skin's been feeling quite dehydrated recently, so I thought I'd give this oil a go. I ordered it about a couple of weeks ago, and I've used it a few times, and I really like it. It makes your um, foundation go on quite smooth. So I just used about two or three drops of that. I've skin. used too much already. <laughs> <laughs> it smells. That's like a funny like petrol smell to it. Is that petrol? normal? Yeah. I don't feel like that. Oh smelling. no. What's going on? I don't, where, I don't know where to look. I'm gonna just put it down my neck because I used way too much. Prime that neck. <laughs> Always prime the neck. Yeah, prime <laughs> the neck. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. Uh, have I used this in a video? Maybe. I don't think so. I don't think I have. Um, it's a fairly new one for me. When we went shopping in London, we both got it together. I quite like it. It's nice. I love it. I'm using the um, L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour uh, matte mattifying infallible foundation in the shade Sand. Now I think I'm going to go for the approach as more is more. Yep. With this because yep. I feel. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely yep. more is more. Just just use half a tube of the foundation. Yeah. I don't really know. Like. I feel like I've lost all skill as a as a makeup person. person. I wouldn't describe myself as an artist. I would. Do you feel like you have to be qualified to be a makeup artist? Um, because there's some pretty bomb ass self taught people out there. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know where to look. I feel like, um, and by the way, I'm just using my Real Technique sponge to blend this in. Um, I feel like you don't have to be, to be a makeup artist, you do actually have to have qualification. But. If you didn't know already, me and Rachel both work in the makeup industry, but we're not makeup artists, we work for counters. It's very pink. Look. It is pink. And I don't normally like pink. I find that, changing the subjects a little bit, mm -hmm. I find that with, um, like, not low end, what is it called, drugstore mm -hmm. brands, it's hard to get yellow foundations. Yeah, I agree with you there. I've just put another layer of that foundation on because I feel like... Well, I've still got a bit left on my hand and I feel like I'm just going to keep going. Yeah. Even though I'm probably more than covered. But I feel like... <laughs> I, I feel like I've done a good job. I feel Don't like... tell me. I, I feel like the... <laughs> I feel like we've been doing we this for a while. We normally listen to Disney songs as well when we do our tutorials. Yeah. And now we can't. My favourite Disney song is from Lilo and Stitch. On a Hawaiian roller coaster. <laughs> and then it says a bunch of words that like nobody really knows. So you just like. I sat through the sunset beyond the horizon. I believe you, my God, I'm lonely. Yeah, great. We should stop that now. Yeah. Well, there's a spider. Ooh. Right, Bill. We'll name the spider Bill. I feel as if I've just been doing this for literally like half an hour. Do you get this as well? It comes off. Yeah, I am. Um, oh, conceal our last infection from collection. I actually like to scrape it off. It annoys me because it comes off onto my 
pans. Right, so I'm going to be using two concealers. I'm going to be using one um, to conceal and then one to highlight. Not that I'm going to actually know where I am concealing, to be fair, <laughs> but... <laughs> this is so weird. Ah! Oh. Have, you <laughs> Have you tried double wear concealer? No, I haven't. But I love double wear, as you know. So double I would wear. probably like the concealer. Double wear concealer is insane. If you like Estee Lauder double wear foundation... Oh my God, I feel like I'm going to poke my eye out. It's weird, isn't it? Oh. Normally it'd be like okay. Um yeah, if you like double wear foundation, oh, double wear just concealer it is like I feel like I know I've got a spot around here. <laughs> I'm feeling very confused right now. Have I put enough on? Yeah. And then I'm going to take the pointed side of my beauty blender and blend in my concealer. A lot of people ask me, this is a very frequently asked question um, that I get, I don't know about you Rach, but um, people always ask me, why do you dampen a beauty blender? Do you yeah. ask that a lot? Um, or people act surprised when you say um, damp, they're like, oh really, I've been using it dry, dry. and it's like, no, 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 no. It just basically means that the sponge doesn't suck up all of your product and I just find it blends out so much more seamlessly. To set, I'm going to use Laura Mercier. Snap! Like, it is so good. It is amazing. And I'm going to just... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just Bake doing under it. my eyes. I'm just I, doing it. Again, you can use your powders, like your loose powders, on sponges to blend it in. I used to always use a brush, didn't I? And then Rachel... I was always using a sponge to do it, and I was like, hmm, and I saw like Jeffree Star and people like that do it. That's so I thought, who I found out about it from Jeffree Star. Really? I saw him in one of his videos, put it on with his sponge, and I was like, freaking genius, I'm going to do that too. It just melts it into the skin. Yeah. I'm just pouring Rachel's powder. Are we using Studio Fix? Oh yeah, Studio Fix from MAC, and this is NC25. Again, I got you hooked on this. Yeah, Isn't I know. It great? It's amazing. I can't live without it now. Mm -hmm. It's, gonna it's be like life-changing, isn't it? that I'm going to use for the rest of my life. If you're like oily like me and Rachel, we have to set our whole face. Yeah. If you're dry, you can probably skip this. Not this cute. just feels so unnatural, like not to look in a mirror. Like your eyes just like wander around because you don't know where to look. Like it's just so unnatural. Like, mm, it's just weird. It's very weird. Right, so I'm going to bronze now. Yeah. Right, new one for me. NYX matte bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. And I'm using the L'Oreal Glam Bronze in La Terre. In what? La Terre. La Terre. I'm using this on a Zoeva Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. I absolutely love the Zoeva brushes. I really want to try more. And by the way, I am covering the mirror on this. So I'm just taking a bit of this. <laughs> um, I went in, When I was in Boots the other day, I picked this bronzer up. Um, the only thing is, I didn't have any testers, so I kind of like had to guess my yeah. colour. Um, and I didn't look it up before because I just kind of like it was like an impulse buy and I didn't know I was going to buy it so I just kind of like randomly picked a colour I mean it's quite nice it's quite red though what was your first ever makeup product? I remember I started getting into foundation I never used to wear foundation mm -hmm. um, I used to wear eye makeup from Avon mm -hmm. it was like this um like eyeshadow on a pen pencil thing and you could like smudge it out and I always used to do black fading up to silver mm. that's that was about eight years ago so when I was about 18 that's when I well, that's what I used to wear so mine was like I can't remember like my first one but I know I, I the first thing I got me my nan and Chloe my cousin we went to the body shop and I bought a glittery green eyeliner <laughs> which I thought was really nice and then That's I so cool babe so cool and then I bought um oh snap snap <laughs> we like choosing the same product by the way we didn't plan this um yeah I'm just using the contour side with my smashbox brush I'm now going to go back in with my angled brush and just kind of do something <laughs> I've got for my blusher I'm going to move this out of the way a new palette which I purchased purchased, the other day. purchased the other day. It says the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Summer Glow Multi Palette. I'm gonna cover the mirror. I'm not playing you. Looks like this. That's pretty. Mm. I mean, I've tried the bronzer and well I've tried the whole thing actually, that's just a lie. Um the blusher is so nice because it's not very pigmented. Oh, 
emails. Um, yeah, this is so nice. It's limited edition, so if you do like the look of this, then go to your counter ASAP because it is limited edition. Um, like I said, I bought mine the other day. I think it's about forty pounds. Um, I, for highlight, I'm going to start my highlight now. I'm going to use Benefits What's Up as a base because I want my highlight to be popping. Popping, popping. Um, I'm going to use my ring finger to put this one on and then I'm going to pat it along my cheekbone. I'm going to use first, before I put my highlighter on, I'm going to use the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Now, um, this is a tip. I've done this for about six months now. I've done this for ages. I spray my face with this first, leave it to almost dry, and then put my highlighter on, and it just makes it go really intense. So I'm going to spritz this on my... Ooh. Highlighter I'm using, I'm just going to cover the mirror, I'm using Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop which is one of my all-time favourites actually. It's like a really nice peachy gold highlighter. I love the back of highlighters. And I'm using the Sleek um, Solstice palette and I'm going to use, cover the, I'm going to use that peachy shade at the top. This palette's amazing. Um, I actually did a post about it on my Instagram um, recently telling everyone that they need to go and buy it because so it is incredible. Good. It's only 9 99 as well, so such an affordable highlighter. I think that's what the drugstore kind of and the high street lack in is good highlighters. highlighters. They mm. don't do good highlighters. I've never found one apart from that palette. It's incredible. I'm going to do brows. And this is the bit I'm quite nervous about. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start with my Bravo Conditioning Primer from Benefit. I want that. One clip per brow. <laughs> oh, no, let's brush them through first. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my Anastasia brush which I've had for so long now the numbers rubbed off. I'm going to use Benefit um, Browsings in the shade Medium and I just, I am going to cover the mirror up, I just use the wax and the powder and I kind of mix them together on my brush and then just kind of define my brows. I'm also going to be using a, another new Benefit product, this is the Goof Proof Pencil um, and mine is, mine is, <laughs> is in the shade 4. Okay, I feel like I need two hands for this. But I feel like I could get away with five as well. <laughs> what? I'm so nervous. <laughs> the silence of the concentration, concentration of putting on brows. I feel like I need to... I'm just gonna... I'm trying to like feel where it is. I oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> goof proof. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how goof proof it actually is. I feel like um, I'm staring into the can. Are <laughs> <laughs> we going to move on to eyes? Did you set them with it? anything? What, my eyes? Your brows. Yeah, I set them with speed brow. You can use it if you want. Right, brows, oh, no eyes even. Um, I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Um, to start with, I think I'm going to go for um, this one here, which is, I think it's creme brulee, no, beaches and cream. And I'm going to use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Brunette to, oh, just nudged my eye. Look. That's okay. We just, oh, it's gone. We just wipe it off. It's gone. You're right. Um, I am just running this through the crease, not being precise. Oh, then. Can we have a Mento? Yeah. Mento break. Hell oh, yeah. I've been addicted to these recently. Fruit Mentos. <laughs> Feed me. Thanks. I'm going to be using the MAC Burgundy Times 9 eyeshadow palette. I'm just using Rachel's, what's it called? Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream. Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream. I'm then going to use, um, what is this one? This is Frappe. I'm taking this from inner to outer corner. I'm now going to use this one, which is the colour... Wait, let me work it out. Hoax. 
hoax. This one. It's like a really nice, cool toned, purpley matte colour with my Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer brush. Um, and then I'm going to take Coco Bear. Where did Bill go? Bill. Bill's gone. And then I'm going to go back in with my MAC 224 which I used the Beaches and Cream and then I'm just going to kind of blend that out because I feel like blending is key. This is why I'm blending like literally like this like. Key. I'm now going to go in with the middle one which is the colour Embark. I am now going to take some of my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and I'm going to put this all over my lid before I go in with my Stila eyeshadow. So weird. Oh my god. Ah. I'm gonna poke myself in the eye. Now I'm gonna go in with the colour Star Violet, which is a Velux Pearl finish. And I'm gonna use this on my finger. And then do something with it on my eyeball. Are you doing anything with your lower lashes? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do actually I might do that now. I'm now just going to go back in with the Embark and just use that to blend it out, I'm maybe. I'm going to go back in with Frappe and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with that Embark colour again and just, just, uh, yeah. You look alright. I don't feel okay. <laughs> I'm feeling some kind of way right now. Right. Eyeliner. And it's I almost want to wait for you so we can yeah, do this struggle it. together. Alright, okay. I'm going to use my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I talked about this in my April Favourites video and I really like it, but I've never tried eyeliner without a mirror, so I could be hating this by the end of this. And I'm using Maybelline Mask Ink. I'm done. Oh. I feel like it was probably going okay until the eyeliner. Yeah. Mascara. And then lashes. Where's my mascara? Did you not bring one? Yeah, I did. I definitely did bring one. Oh, I lost it. I'm just going to go in with some glitter. Because glitter makes everything better. Ah, so cute. <laughs> okay, bottom lashes. Oh! No, Abigail, no. Was that just there? No. That is so weird. It is really that weird. That wasn't there. That wasn't there a minute ago. The lashes, I'm going to do. Um, do. I'm going to put on some Demi Wispies from Ardell. I really like these lashes. They're just quite they're quite natural, but they just add a little bit of length and definition to someone that has elephant lashes like myself that stick down and they're about this long. Oh, this is really uncomfortable. I'm going to use uh, the NYX Liquid Suede lipstick in the shade Sandstorm, which looks like that. I'm going to leave my lashes to dry. I've like, glued my eye shut. My lips, I'm going in with my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Rico. Oh. So we're going to open these at the same time. Okay, I look, my eye is like glued. I'm really excited. So am I. Okay, right, One, ready? Two, three. I ain't mad at it. I've got lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> my eyeliner. My <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm actually like. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if, like, from a distance, if you have one eye shut and then kind of squint the other eye, maybe it would be okay. Fit from far away. Yeah. From <laughs> far 
My lips are all right, apart from I've got a little bit of a situation going on here. If you want us to film these two looks, but actually properly, then just <laughs> let us know if you want to see a tutorial on actually how to do it properly rather than this. We had so much fun doing this challenge, it was so much fun to do and something quite different for us as well because yeah. we've never done something like this before. After this, um, me and Rachel are going to be filming the full face of highlighters challenge over on Rachel's channel, so this is going to be a collab video, so if you want to check out our full face of highlighters challenge after this one then I will leave a link for it in the description box below and while you're there make sure you subscribe to Rachel's channel because she's absolutely amazing and if you enjoyed this video then make sure you give it a thumbs up and then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well if you did enjoy the video see you next Friday in my next video bye guys